Eduardo from the Heat Lab. Um, well, in past sport events, we have had some animal predictors like Paul the Octopus. So this time for the Cricket World Cup 2015, my mate and me a uh, program for the robot, uh, we can predict who can, be, who can be the possible winner of the Cricket World Cup. Uh, so we did this small program here and we put it in the robot. So um, one of the advantages to use a robot is that usually um, when the animal predictors fail, uh, people want to kill them and ate them, like Paul the octopus, which received a lot of uh, threats, you know, uh, with really nice uh, recipes to cook octopus. So in this case, the robot doesn't have that problem. So let's see uh, who can be the winner of the Cricket World Cup. So, have you seen the robot has choose India, West Indies, um, Afghanistan, Scotland, and New Zealand. Let's do another round. Let's see who are the possible winners of the Cricket World Cup 2015. Is India a possible winner? Start. Start. Can I make snow? I don't think so. Okay, India is not a possible winner. Yes. Okay, West Indies apparently they are possible winners. Let's gonna do it again, okay? Again. Okay, what, tell me about uh, Afghanistan. Are they possible winners? Start. Start. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. We have three possible winners. We have New Zealand. We have a look. What about New Zealand? Please tell me. They will be winners in the Cricket World Cup. Start. No. Oh, robot, no. Well, apparently, India and New Zealand are not possible winners, so then we have three possible winners Afghanistan, Scotland, and West Indies. Let's gonna see again. Let's gonna do another last round and see who can be a winner. Scotland. Start. Start. No. Oh, okay. Scotland is not a possible winner. It's gonna do it again. Again. So, what about West Indies? No. Oh, no. Again. Okay. Let me see. Is Afghanistan possible winner? Start. Yes. Okay, so the robot predicts that Afghanistan is a possible winner of the Cricket World Cup 2015. Let's see if he's right or not. At the end, he will not be eaten like Paul the Octopus. Thank you.